is a former Tim Scott donor. What he makes of all of this. Eric, good to have you back. Good to be here, Neil. Thank you. Um, what do you think of Nikki Haley's chances in Iowa? Well, I mean, I think she has a great chance of doing very well. And that's all we really need to do. Uh, I think the most pressure is on DeSantis. If he doesn't finish second, you, you heard from the prior interviewee, if he finishes third, he's done. Nikki Haley doesn't have that pressure on her. She just needs to finish strongly. She's competing in New Hampshire. She's competing in South Carolina. She's got a shot of winning both those states. Uh, and Ron DeSantis is flatlining everywhere else. So I think um, I'm very optimistic about how she'll do on Monday. Um, Eric, a lot of attention on her is being focused in New Hampshire, where she's considered to have a much better chance. The polls are a tad tighter there for for her uh, than they are in Iowa for the time being. Uh, but a lot of, you know, anticipation about the Chris Christie vote and where it goes and that she could be a beneficiary of that. What do you think? Well, I think that's absolutely right. Remember the last time I was on the show, I was predicting that Chris Christie had, was saying that Chris Christie had no path to the nomination. And you were a little skeptical of that. But so he has now dropped out. And I think that he is the he was the quintessential anti-Trump vote. So his voters are not going to go to Donald Trump. The only logical place for those voters to go is to Nikki Haley. So I'm very optimistic that he's going to pick up those votes. And if you add those numbers together, uh, it doesn't just put her in a tie with Trump. It puts her ahead of Trump. So I'm, I'm actually very optimistic that she can win New Hampshire. Will she? We'll see. But I'm, uh, she's running very strongly there and, and, and things bode well for her. Um, I don't think I was skeptical of, 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 of Christie uh, for the nomination as much as I was of what, what he could do after New Hampshire. And I'll ask the same question of your candidate then and you, that after New Hampshire, a crowd tailor-made for Nikki Haley because she gets so much moderate independent support. The rest of the primaries as they fold out, except sort of Michigan and some other of the, the battleground states, uh, are almost tailor-made for Donald Trump and uh, the, the core Republican base that 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 loves him uh and will will follow him right you know right to the convention do you think she could disrupt that and it depends on her getting a great send-off from new hampshire that she she can't afford to just come in a strong second she's she's really got to build on that i think she absolutely can disrupt that i don't think there's any doubt about that as soon as you start peeling away the veneer of invincibility and inevitability from donald trump he's going to start to lose and if she wins in New Hampshire or if she runs a very close uh, second in New Hampshire, there's very well in New Hampshire, I think that aura of invincibility starts to peel away. I think it's highly likely that Ron DeSantis will be out of the race by Monday. And when you go mano or womano, I think uh, Nikki Haley is the better candidate. I think she's more substantive. I think she I think people will understand where she beats Biden by 15, 20 points. Uh, Donald Trump in the absolute best of circumstances. You know, where everybody's just focused on Biden and not on Trump. He barely ekes out ahead of Biden. As soon as it becomes a one on one race, if it ever gets to that between Biden and Trump and people start remembering why they hate Donald Trump, then Joe Biden is likely to win. People want to win. Republicans want to win. Nikki Haley is our winner. So if it isn't Nikki and it's Donald Trump, what are you going to do? Well, you know, I live in the People's Democratic Republic of New York, so I can vote for Bozo the Clown and it's not going to make a difference. So I'm going to put all my efforts into making sure that we win the Senate, we take the Senate, because that does matter. So I'm going to work on things that matter. So, right, but that's, uh, not, that, that's not what I asked. Could you support Donald Trump yourself? Could you vote for him if he's the only Republican choice you had? we got a long way to go. Let's see where we are. I will not vote for Joe Biden, I can tell you that, but I think... You know, if my vote doesn't matter in New York, let's focus on what does matter, and that's going to be the Senate. But I remain hopeful that Nikki Haley is going to be our nominee. All right. I have no idea what that answer means. But, Eric, it was great seeing you again. We'll see what happens. Eric Levine, uh, the Nikki Haley donor, of course, very hopeful that she will uh, pull it all out.